day 82 solution and we're going to build different languages. So let's start very quickly with our first page. Now I'm going to set an app root to the page languages or maybe just language and I'm going to def lang. Okay. So define language there means that we can then start reading it. Let's bring request in and let's make sure that our language has the methods we need, which is just going to be in this case. So let's set our values. So that should pull everything in and we need to check it's not blank though. So that's the case would be blank. It'd be a blank dictionary. So if there's no data, then we need to return nothing here, but otherwise we need to do if data equals equals English. Let's just do ENG as the short code. We'll return a page that says hello and welcome to our wonderful website. Let's put an LF in. Now I'm going to do my other language as Welsh because I am Welsh. So it'd be nice to do that. I think Welsh, the short code for Welsh is Welsh. And unfortunately I don't speak Welsh much. So I need to get on the old translate. So I'm going to return the Welsh version of that, which is hello, a croision in Gwevan Wych. I think that's my, that's my very best Welsh pronunciation. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry, but hopefully that should work. Now if we run it, we get a blank out of here because I've still got the app root for nothing going on, which is what I want. So that first page still loads with hello from flask. We've got our app root down here. Let's bring up the view. And we need to go to our language page, don't we? So forward slash language. Nothing here is good because that means that our efforts to pick up no get requests are there. Lang equals ENG should give us the English and Lang equals W E L should give us the Welsh version. Dian, Dian, that, that, that's Welsh for well done. Dian, we've got it working and we've got a good solution. Fantastic. Thank <music> you.